A blessed, beautiful day, Great for Gav family. Welcome in the Wellness Wednesday. Before I get into the health topic for today, I want to get directly to the daily verse. Daily verse for the date of February 28th, 2024. Derived from the book of John, chapter 17, verse 3. And the state says as follows. This means everlasting life. They're coming to know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. Amen. And again, that's from the book of John, chapter 17, verse 3. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, for Wellness Wednesday, um, I know I, I always speak about individual health, but today I wanted to be able to speak about um, the health and wellness in our communities. You know, it's truly important for not just one of us to be healthy, but for the majority of us to be healthy and have resources and have means to be as, as healthy as possible. And why not um, take action and, and probably, you know, try to instill some of these things. Maybe you ought to have some of these um, opportunities in your in your communities and things of that nature. So, you know, why not go take advantage of them? Why not be a part of that? And why not, you know, engage so we can all be healthier? And I'm getting this information from health and wellness. I'm getting this information from health and wellness org dot com. Again, health and wellness org dot com. And I, I will have the link to the description of the episode. I mean, I will have the link to the article in the description of the episode, excuse me. So I'm getting directly into it. And this is going to be ways to improve health and wellness in our communities. Improving health and wellness in your community is a noble endeavor that can have a lasting impact on the well-being of individuals and families. One way that we can promote health in our communities is promote health education and awareness. We could organize workshops, seminars, and community events to educate residents about healthy lifestyle choices, preventative care, and disease management. Collaborate with local schools, community centers, and healthcare providers to develop educational programs on nutrition, exercise, mental health, and other relevant topics. Also, distribute informational materials and resources to raise awareness about common health issues and available support services. Another way that we can promote great health and wellness in our communities is establish community gardens. You can advocate for and create community gardens where residents can grow their own fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Provide education on organic gardening practices, sustainable agriculture, and the benefits of consuming fresh, locally grown produce. Encourage community members to participate in gardening activities, fostering a sense of connection, physical activity, and access to nutritious foods. Another topic or another category that we can improve our health in our communities is support physical activity initiatives. You could collaborate with local recreational facilities, schools, and sports clubs to promote physical activity programs for all age groups, organize community walks, runs, or bike rides to raise awareness about the importance of regular exercise, advocate for the development and maintenance of parks, playgrounds, and walking trails, to provide accessible spaces for physical activity. Addressing food insecurity, which is a truly important um, aspect in community health. You know, some communities are less fortunate than, than others, and not everybody in that community is less fortunate than the next person to the left or the right of them. So why not um, address food insecurity and be an advocate for this category. And it's that, uh, as follows, it is, we could establish partnerships with local food banks, shelters, and community organizations to address food insecurity and provide nutritious meals to those in need. Um, it was kind of cool that, it wasn't kind of cool, it was, it was truly awesome um, that the neighborhood that we live in, um, the, the town that we live in, is sent out flyers, and I got it in the mail about probably three weeks ago, and it was saying how they had a food pantry. It was free. They had supplies. They had canned good foods, you know, perishable items, those type of things in their food bank. And um, and at the town hall that we live here in, and it was, 
it was it was cool to be able to see that you know just because somebody um in our community care enough to be able to send out that information and have that service available for our community and that was that was a big uh that gave me a big smile on my face to be able to see that so that was awesome um continuing on you can advocate for policies that support access to affordable healthy food options in undeserved underserved areas excuse me facilitate food drives and volunteer initiatives to collect and distribute food to vulnerable populations another category is fostering mental health support we could collaborate with mental health professionals counselors and organizations to offer mental health support services to community members organize workshops and support groups to address mental health challenges stress management, and promote overall well-being. Raise awareness about the importance of mental health through campaigns, educational resources, and community events. And one of the last important notes was to engage in policy advocacy. It says, advocate for policies that promote health and wellness in your communities, such as smoke-free ordinances, safe walking and biking infrastructures, and access to health care services. Collaborate with local government officials, community leaders, and advocacy groups to drive policy changes that prioritize public health. Make sure you stay informed about proposed policies and regulations related to health and wellness and actively participate in public hearing, meetings, and decision-making processes. Again, this is a collective effort from you know myself, the people who are listening to the, to everybody in our community. We have to be on the same page to be able to promote health, encourage it, make changes about it, and um, put it into action. So again, you know, I would encourage people to look around in their community, see what type of things they can have, uh, they can help out with. If you see um, your community has local food banks um, that you could go donate to, things of that nature. Like I said, get it, get involved with your children's schools. Um, see what type of thing they have planned for the community. Um, get involved with your town's leadership. See what type of thing they have for the community, health wise. You know all these type of things. Take initiative upon yourself to promote, to put the idea in people's head. You know all these type of things. Is um we're, we're all in this together. Jehovah blessed us with this beautiful world. Together, He wants us to take care of the world just like He wants us to take care of ourselves. So, um, it's truly important to have. A healthy you, but a healthy community also. So um, be blessed, be loved, and until next time, peace.